Hello, my name is Michael Franklin. Um, I'll be talking about the evolution of art. Um, so over the course of our existence we have, um, that we have been on Earth, we have come up with seven distinguished uh, forms of art. Um, I, I find art so interesting because the uh, freedom of expression, um, uh, like the, everything you can do, um, even like pottery, you know, even architecture is considered a form of art, and so it really like includes all sorts of, uh, of people and their interests. Um, the uh, the it's a wide margin of of uh, what is considered art, and so it really does like include everyone. Um, so my main question, uh, well. Uh, studying and researching for my project was how the art mediums and definitions of art changed over time. Um, so, uh, starting with the uh, Renaissance and the Black Plague, uh, at first, um, there we go. So, at first, uh, paintings as seen over there on the uh, bottom right were just more flat and um, not really. Uh, three-dimensional. Uh, they didn't really use shadow. Um, and it was mostly used for religious purposes and any other purposes it was um, seen kind of, uh, oh, what's the word, like immoral I guess, like uh, uh, blasphemy kind of. Um, but after the, uh, the Black Plague um, a lot of people who kind of enforced the laws uh, died off and the uh, some artisans uh, were left over, and so they started playing around, like uh, this Raphael, um, who uh, I forget the yeah the name of the painting, but you can definitely see how there is more shadow, um, especially on the horse, and it just adds a, a level of detail. So that that's uh, one way that art has uh, formed over time. Um, yeah. Um, what I learned uh, about this uh, was to use uh, shadow in my own project. Um, for my own project, I, I painted a, a landscape uh, from Moab, um, Moab, Utah. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see that later on. So, uh, the ancient Egyptians, um, you guys probably wouldn't think of them as artisans, but uh, they were able to create gigantic pyramids and other things like the sphinxes and obelisks and stuff. Um, and because uh, architecture is a form of art, uh, they were considered artisan. And this, this took a, a long time to uh, build. Um, uh, probably when they were building it, they, they didn't really, uh, they weren't considering it as a form of art, but over the years um, and over uh, discovery and the years of tourism, it, it definitely is a, a piece of art that is in the desert. <laughs> um, another form of art uh, that was created, um, another uh, piece of art, uh, architecture, was the Great Wall of China. Um, this. This definitely was not used for the purpose of art. It was uh, used for a purpose of uh, defense against um, uh, the, the Mongols and other other uh, people who wanted to attack China. And so uh, they, they built this wall. But now you can go on and explore it, and it's um it's definitely a um, one of the seven the wonders of the world. It's, it's really crazy. Um, I think you can actually see it from space. It's really crazy to see how, how massive it is, but they, they definitely hit the mark on the art. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, uh, the definitions and uh, the acceptance of uh, changes of art um, have occurred, and so now we, we accept different things as art. Um, in fact, you can go to like different uh, shows, art shows, kind of, um, and there there will be like pieces of.
trash, what people would call, when they would put pieces of trash out on the, the floor, and, and they would call it art. And some people might actually pay like thousands of dollars for it, which is crazy. But, Uh, there really is no uh, good or bad about art. That's that's why one thing I, I like about art. Um, you don't really have to worry about if you make a mistake or or if you think it's bad. Um, in fact, uh, uh, Vincent Van Gogh, who painted Starry, Starry Night, which is his most famous painting, he actually hated that painting. He really didn't like it. But um, it just turned out that everyone else did. and. Um, and just to it goes to show that you're your uh, biggest critic. <laughs> um, also, uh, Jackson Pollock. Um, we have the bottom right. Uh, some people might find that as trash. You know, uh, some people might think you know it, it takes a, le a level of dedication and, and uh, understanding of how uh, light and paint works. Um, that one sold for. I'm trying to remember. I, I think it was like a couple million. While people are saying like, "Oh wow, yeah, I, I can just splatter some paint on a canvas, you know, and sell it for like, like three million, you know." <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah. So uh, there really is like, yeah, no good or bad about art. And I, I really recommend um, at, at least at least doing something, drawing, painting. And even if you're not good at those, you can you can take up pottery and stuff. And just having an outlet for your uh, creative side is, is really good. And um, we should we should celebrate it and not uh, not see each other as like oh yeah you're really good just because you can draw something or or like you know, you're you're not that good. But um, yeah. These were my paintings. Uh, this is my painting. Um, it goes from uh, the uh, left to the right and bottom. And then that's my final piece. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you.